Oh, look, he's still spry. You... you think you've won, haven't you? That this is over? Fools! Madmen! This means nothing! Nothing, you hear? Will you shut up already? At this point, you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Let it go, Karen. Leave, and there won't be any bad blood between us. Oh, I will leave, all right, and return. Next time, nothing will save you. I... I will return with an army of nobles so big, so powerful. <laughs> you will be gutted like the mongrel bunch you are, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there is something, you know. Okay? No. You're not thinking about... Huh? What's this? Huh? Wh wh are you going to kill me? Oh my! The tension is killing me! Ah, right. Nah, I won't. This city has seen enough bloodshed already, don't you think? House Lauren or otherwise. <laughs> Weakling! You're signing your death warrant! <sighs> what? Cat got your tongue? I swear. I swear on the legacies that you have claimed as your own. I, Karin of House Lauren, the true heir of Ascalia, will return for what is mine. My, my, my. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Would you mind repeating that for the protocol, Mr. Karen Lauren? Mr. Crucy! Oh, from bad to worse. M Mr. Crucy? What are you doing here? Why, I've come to collect my routine installments. For some reason, no doubt very important and very well documented, I haven't received any written word for you in the last weeks. I came to ensure you shall make the deadline. But it would seem I have stumbled upon some truly astonishing developments. Mr. Karen, was it? Is that true? Are you, in fact, the one true heir? Was it not this man? Mr. Crucy, let me... Shh, shh, shh. Who, who the hell are you? Walter Crucy of the Furtive Union. Now, answer the question, please. Yes, I am. And I cannot abide by this ridiculous nonsense. That man, Kay, is a fraud, an imposter, a pretendant. I am the true king! I demand... I demand legitimacy! I demand acknowledgement of my status in the face of the law! <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. <sighs> After all, we must all abide the law, don't we? As the chief financial representative of the Furtive Union and the custodian of the bygone finances of House Lauren, I declare as follows. All right. All of the current and remaining obligations, which will probably span years till mine, shall be transferred from Sir Kay's family onto your personage. What? 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 I won't say it. It would appear that a horrible, horrible mistake must have taken place. As such, the massive, crippling, and completely unregulated debts of your ancestors have been wrongly assigned to this young man. Naturally, this is all remedied now. With your confession, everything is clear. 
Also, I would imagine that Sir Kay would want his money back, wouldn't he? In fact, right now he has an extremely strong claim for compensation, should he decide to exercise it before the courts. I also expect you to be as diligent with your payments as your predecessor was. I am sure you will be able to meet the first deadline of, say, next week? Uh, 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 what? What? But, but... Yes, Mr. Lauren? Is there anything you would like to add? You, you, you can't! This, I, you... Careful now. I would refrain from making threats you cannot back, Mr. Lauren. People were known to vanish for less. So, about that deadline. Are we clear? Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunate. But worry not, we shall exercise our due. We always do. That said, I shall bid you adieu. Have a great day, Mr. K, Miss Gwendolyn, Miss Elaine. Mr. Crucy? Hmm. I never expected to say this, but... Thank you. Please, have I not told you already once? We're civilized people. I am not a comic book villain, Mr. K. It's just business, nothing more, nothing less. And I respect those who are dependable enough to keep up their ends of the bargain, especially with the odds you were given. Congratulations on your new property. Debt free this time. But isn't it technically still Karen's? <laughs> is it? Oh, I do not know. Ownership is a fickle thing, you see. Claims get forged, papers get lost. Perhaps you worry too much. Additionally, I would imagine he has more pressing issues at the moment, don't you think? Farewell, Mr. K. Hopefully, for good. Well, damn! I'm actually impressed. That was one fancy, uh... What do you call it? Uh, deuce ex machina? Anyway... What you gonna do now, folks? That's a good question, actually. What are we gonna do now? You tell me. You're the king, remember? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, we're not even House Lauren. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, just to make sure. We're staying, right? Of course. It's home. Indeed, it is. But in the meantime, let us make it official. All hail, King K! All hail, Escalia! Hail! hail. All hail, hail King King K. Guys, thanks for standing with me. I am honored that you would have me as your king. And you'll make a good one, too. So, uh, is it over? Oh, yeah, sure. You can all go back to your homes now. Thanks. Uh, well, gotta start working on that new house name. A new coat of arms would be wise, too. Oh, I might have a few ideas. So do I. Great, let's hit the drawing board. This is going to be disastrous, isn't it? And so ends the story of a man whose deeds echoed stronger than his blood. Despite the countless seemingly insurmountable obstacles, silly or otherwise, Ascalia rose from the ashes, its warm, hopeful light shining across Rashtil once again. Naturally, not everything that followed was happy or epic. Or, well, well, didn't even make sense. But such is life, and tales need not imitate it. And for as long as Escalia stands, its people shall look to the past and remember 
gleaming with pride. They shall remember the time when among them walked both men and monarchs. <laughs>